across our world we live, in cities and villages, all part of a greater whole, but we're not alone. They come in herds, hives and swarms, packs, tribes and pairs, living in nature, members of society. The ocean, covering 70% of our world, it is also the largest ecosystem on Earth, with thousands of species of fish, reptiles, invertebrates and seabirds depending on it, as well as dozens of marine mammals, large and small, from whales and dolphins, seals and walruses, manatees and dugongs, as well as polar bears and otters. There are 129 species in all, either fully aquatic and semi-aquatic, divided into four groups of cetaceans, seranians, pinnipeds and physipeds. They all live off the ocean, feeding on anything between fish and crustaceans, plankton and krill, to other marine mammals. They vary in size from the biggest blue whale to the smallest the rare South American marine otter. They come as loners and pairs as well as huge colonies and small schools. Though outnumbered by the other animals in the sea, they have the largest biomass of any group of organisms in the ocean, one of the most common groups being seals. There are 33 species of seals, including the sea lions, all being semi-aquatic pinnipeds, distinguished by their thick skin, streamlined bodies and four flippers, related to walruses, bears, weasels and raccoons. While not as fast as dolphins in the water, they are highly flexible fish hunters, spending the majority of their lives in the water, coming ashore for mating season, molting on their fur, and occasionally to sleep. Divided into two main groups, the first including fur seals and sea lions, the second being true seals. Fur seals and sea lions having external ears as well as longer muscular flippers allowing them to walk on land while true seals are considerably more streamlined, lacking outer ears and are unable to use their flippers for locomotion on land. Fur seals and sea lions are largely found in subpolar, temperate or tropical regions. True seals can be found throughout the polar regions as well, where the thick layer of blubber insulates them from the cold waters. Seals and sea lions range in size from the smallest, the Galapagos fur seals at 4 feet long, to the largest, the southern elephant seal being up to 22 feet long. Many are known to migrate vast distances up to tens of thousands of miles for elephant seals, using geomagnetic fields and water and air currents to navigate, frequently migrating between alternating molting and breeding sites. While most spend their lives in the water as solitary hunters of fish or in small groups when food is abundant, a few additionally being specialized hunters of crustaceans, squid, invertebrates and penguins. During mating seasons and birth giving, all seals and sea lions return to shore in huge numbers, ranging from a dozen or so to thousands of individuals, gathered together in large colonies known as rookeries, frequently on islands with less terrestrial predators around. To communicate, seals and sea lions employ varying vocalizations, from simple grunting on land and whistles, clicks and chirps on the water used occasionally to coordinate movements underwater during a hunt, as when attacking a school of fish. To loud barking, fur seals and sea lions able to bark loudly. Used both during mating seasons, to greet other individuals, for intimidation and rivalry, or parent-pup relationships. Many larger seals also able to produce low frequency sounds to maintain social hierarchies, Though seal societies are typically simple in construct and only come into force during mating season once a year, to follow seasonal variations and availability of food. Most seals are pelagianous, with many females mating with a single male. Male elephant seals are able to mate with as many as 50 females during one season, while a few, such as the harp seal and the hooded seal, are serially monogamous, having only one mate per season. The males arrive at a rookery first to establish a territory, to later be populated by several females who become part of the male harem, often fasting to retain it, instead of relying on the thick layer of fat or blubber for sustenance. Larger males who are able to fast longer typically being more successful in mating as a result. 
their size also proving advantageous when competing with other males for territory as fights often occur between male seals using their weight and canines to clash into each other along with various ritualized threat displays of barking, lunging, head shaking and stares. Because of this, males are often considerably larger than the females, male elephant seals being up to six times as large as their female counterparts. Mating is brief and fleeting, the mates often lying next to each other to allow the genitalia to meet, with all species able to use a process of delayed implantation, wherein the embryo can remain in suspended development for weeks or months before it's implanted into the uterus. So that implantation only occurs once the female returns to the sea after mating season or to enable the female to gain more weight before giving birth. Seal and sea lion gestational periods can take anywhere between 8 to 12 months to allow for large, well-developed offsprings. Usually, a single pup is born, remaining on the beach until large enough to swim and hunt on their own, with only a few exceptions, such as the bearded seal pups, able to swim within hours after birth. Only after nursing, building up enough body mass and fat to swim effectively. Male seals play typically a little role in raising their young, only some species of male sea lions attempting to protect their pups from predators. Mother seals, on the other hand, have different strategies depending on the species. True seals often fasting during the entirety of the relatively short lactation period, which can be as short as four days for some species, but up to five weeks for others. While fur seals and sea lions practice periodic nursing, the mother fasting and nursing for a few days before leaving the young on shore to forage for food, during which time the pup fasts until the mother returns to nurse them again. In ongoing intervals, it can last between a single day to two weeks, depending on availability of food. Fur seal pups keep nursing for a period of between six months to three years. The milk of seals typically contains large amount of fat, up to 50 to 60 percent, compared to human milk at 4 percent or cow milk at 3.5, enabling the pup to quickly gain weight, elephant seal pups gaining as much as 9 pounds a day until weaning. Allo parenting commonly occurring, particularly among the true seals, with pups often attempting to steal milk from other lactating females, with mixed success. After weaning, the female often stays around the pup for a few additional weeks for protection, then abandons it. Left alone, weaned pups are often either able to swim already, or gather around in pup groups on shore for added protection until they are able to hunt for themselves. Seals reach maturity at anywhere between 2 to 12 years of age, though for younger seals mating is seldom successful due to their size and low survival rates. Many juvenile seals being targets for predators such as polar bears, sharks and orcas. Lifespans average around 25 to 35 years, females usually living longer than males, as males often engage in combat or die before reaching maturity. Among the most recognizable marine mammals around today are the dolphins, a diverse and widely distributed group of fully aquatic cetaceans. They are divided into four families with a total of 40 species, generally found in tropical and subtropical areas. They range in size between Maui's dolphin at 5.6 feet long to the killer whale or orca at 31 feet. All feature highly streamlined bodies, while not as agile as seals, they are considerably faster, reaching top speeds of 35 miles per hour, as they are fast-moving predators of primarily fish, though orcas also attack other marine mammals, including seals. Highly intelligent, dolphins often collaborate to take down larger prey or schools of fish, with complex hunting behaviors including driving the fish to shallower waters and beaches to feed on them. Dolphins are highly social animals living in loosely structured schools known as pods, which can contain over a dozen individuals. Though in locations where food is abundant, several pods may merge to form temporary superpods, which have been known to contain over a thousand individuals. The pod structure is highly interchangeable, with individuals frequently switching between different pods, often increasing in numbers during foraging to enable better pack hunting, decreasing during resting and traveling. Some species switching between smaller, more permanent traveling groups, forming subgroups for mating, nursing and hunting. 
though this doesn't preclude them from forming strong bonds as dolphins have been known to stay with and assist other dolphins who have been injured or fallen ill. Behavior that has on occasion crossed species boundaries with dolphins assisting or even protecting dolphins of other species. While orcas are unique in that they form permanent matriarchal societies, wherein a smaller group of four to six individuals spanning three to four generations stay in a matrilineal group, each individual following their mother their entire life, groups that also converge to form larger pods of two to four matrilines, with pods additionally forming larger clans. As such, dolphins have developed a variety of complex vocalizations and non-verbal communications, such as touch patterns and posturing. Vocalizations originating from nasal air sacs located just below the blowhole, frequently divided into three categories, clicks, burst pulse sounds, and modulated whistles. Clicks often occurring in short series known as click trains. Used for echolocation even at great distances, Burst pulse sounds are the variety of squeals dolphins frequently use to call attention to a predator or prey, or as a sign of distress or playfulness, depending on the tone. Some dolphin pods forming dialects of distinct repeated calls that are unique to that group. While whistles are largely individual and are used as identifiers or signatures, though they may address other individuals by mimicking the signature whistle of the other dolphin. Males are generally larger than the females to a varying degree, aiding the male during reproduction as dolphins are generally polyandrous, with one female mating with several males, leading to males frequently competing with each other, usually in the form of both ritualized displays of dominance, as well as physical combat. Male dolphins often viciously biting and ramming their opponents, sometimes to the point where their opponent is exiled from the pod, older males frequently covered in scars as a result. A synchronized breeding season typically occurs once a year, though mating itself can occur at any time, and is preceded by various displays of courtship, ranging from posturing and calls, to herding of females by aggressive males, or high-speed chases, where the male chases the female down, females often preferring males with great speed and agility, avoiding males with lacking social skill. Males sometimes also form alliances to herd or chase groups of females, dividing them among themselves, or as with the bottlenose dolphins forming pairs to follow the female, restricting her movement until she becomes receptive. Many dolphin males using physical aggression to keep the female nearby. The mating act itself is typically brief and fleeting, occurring belly to belly as the dolphin align their genitalia, often seen swimming in a complex dance as they mate. The gestational period of dolphins varies greatly from 10 to 12 months for most smaller dolphins, up to 18 months for orcas, with interbirth intervals typically ranging between 1 to 5 years, most giving birth to a single young or calf between two to four feet long, who is then breastfed for anywhere between six months to eight years. As dolphins lack lips, and thus also the ability to suckle, the mother excretes the milk into the water for the calf to consume. Quickly gaining weight, doubling in size during the first six months, the calf also stays with the mother long after weaning for protection. During the first year, the mortality rate for calves is extremely high, largely due to predation as they are often slower than their full-grown counterparts and too weak to be able to defend themselves. Due to their vulnerability, both males and females often participate in protecting and caring for their young, though some males, such as those with the bottlenose dolphins, have been known to practice infanticide, killing the offsprings of other males to prioritize their own bloodline. While female dolphins often gather in nursing groups in shallower water to better protect the calves as well as teach them how to hunt smaller fish closer to shore. The maturity of most dolphins is primarily tied to the size of the dolphin rather than the physical age, most dolphins maturing at 80% of their adult size. As such, maturity can come anywhere between 2 to 15 years, even varying greatly within a single species, depending on the availability of food, with the average lifespan for most dolphins being 20 to 40 years, up to 90 for orcas. Dolphins are also among few species that frequently engage in sexual activity outside of mating purposes, even before maturing, 
as greetings to strengthen social bonds and relieve tension and resolve conflicts. Dolphins have also been shown to use rudimentary tools and displays of learned culture within individual communities, including the use of sponges to protect a dolphin's snout while foraging, as well as using sticks and weeds as part of their courtship displays. Highly intelligent, dolphins have been shown to easily mimic the behavior of other animals as well as humans, as well as being able to play complex games and recognize sequential numbers and being self-aware. The by far largest marine mammals are the whales, ranging from the smallest dwarf sperm whale at 8.5 feet and 300 pounds to the blue whale at up to 112 feet weighing 190 tons, the largest of any animal in history. Found throughout every ocean, with many species ranging well into Arctic or Antarctic waters, they are distinct from dolphins and porpoises, with 40 species divided into 8 families, split between two orders, baleen whales and toothed whales, differing significantly in lifestyle. While toothed whales are active hunters of a wide array of other marine animals, Baleen whales feed exclusively on smaller marine animals such as krill or plankton by filtering them out through large baleen plates forming a sea-like structure. Both are unable to chew their food and instead rely entirely on what they can swallow whole. Baleen whales typically being larger than tooth whales, with the exception of the sperm whale, the largest tooth whale. While females of both orders are commonly larger, whales are due to their size and hunting method largely solitary only rarely coming into transient groups or pods consisting of between 2 to 10 individuals, either for migration, as many whales are migratory, traveling up to 16,000 miles a year, or for cooperative hunting when large amounts of prey are available, or in pairs during mating season. Despite their generally solitary nature, most whales are highly vocal, using underwater sounds to communicate while traveling, feeding and socializing as well as using click sounds for sonar purposes. Many larger whales, such as humpback whales, are also widely known for their song, generated by forcing air through their massive nasal cavities. Songs, which typically last between 10 to 20 minutes and can repeat for hours, carried by the water for hundreds of miles, many calls being infrasonic, barely audible to human ears, though at volumes greater than any other animal sound. The blue whale song being near the loudest possible sound on earth, able to be heard across the entire ocean. Though most are of unknown purpose, speculated to relate either to establishing dominance, mating practices or migration, with males being the only ones observed sin. Mating season usually coincides with winter migration, where whales move to warmer waters to mate and give birth, usually near the equator. Most whales are polyandrous, with one female mating with a few males per season, though serial monogamy has also been known to occur. The males court the females in pairs, the male following the female around until she is willing, or in larger groups of several males around a single female, known as competitive groups, gathering near the surface, frequently making use of courtship displays such as spy hopping, pectoral slapping, or lobtailing as well as stroking and caressing the females with their flippers and rubbing against her, or, as with the blue whales, rolling around each other, alternating deep dives before mating. Competitive groups also feature occasional infighting among the males, ranging from fin and tail slapping, charging and parrying. Though serious injuries are uncommon and consist mainly of a show of force and dominance rather than actual combat. They are similar to that of dolphins and porpoises, wherein the male and female align their genitalia while ascending to the surface. After which the male leaves the mating area, the female remaining to mate again with other males to ensure conception. Gestational periods for whales are typically long, between 10 to 17 months, with interbirth intervals of 1 to 5 years, after which the whales give birth to a single young or calf. Unlike most other mammals, whale calves are born tail first to ensure that they do not risk drowning during birth. The calf when born is generally a quarter of the size of the mother, which can be up to 23 feet as with the blue whale calf, or as small as just over 3 feet for the dwarf sperm whale. 
During the first 12 months, the calf is entirely dependent on its mother's milk, excreted directly into the calf's mouth from the mother's mammary glands, which remain inverted inside the mother's body until stimulated by the calf's touch. The milk is high in fat, with the consistency of a creamy paste so it doesn't dissolve in the water, all to ensure the calf quickly gains weight, consuming as much as 10% of its own body weight in milk every day. Some species, such as the blue whale, gains over 100 pounds per day. This weight gain is crucial not only for physical growth, but also to build up and maintain a thick layer of blubber, which keeps the calf warm in colder climates as it follows its mother to her usual feeding area either far north or far south of the calf's birthplace. Many whales existing specifically around the polar regions such as the beluga whale, which has adapted fully to an arctic climate. Most whales continue to depend on their mother well past weaning until two years of age. Following the mother and learning hunting methods as well as social behavior, after which they will have grown to at least two-thirds of their full size, closing the gap upon reaching maturity. Male whales mature between seven and ten years of age, while females mature at five to seven years of age. Consuming enormous quantities of food, with blue whales consuming as much as 40 million krill per day. Due to their immense size, most whales are impervious to predation. With the exception of smaller whale species, such as the beluga targeted by polar bears. And some adolescent whales separated from their mothers, sometimes targeted by orcas. The average lifespan of whales being between 50 to 70 years with some whales, such as the bowhead whale, believed to be able to exceed 200 years of age. After death, whale carcasses typically sink to the ocean floor into what is known as a whale fall, their bones forming significant marine microhabitats used by corals, fish and sea snakes and other marine animals, many of which feed on phytoplankton, as with many whales, phytoplankton itself spurred into growth by whale excrement every part of its life cycle contributing to the ecosystem at large. Though their behavior, social structure and lifestyle may differ greatly, whales, dolphins and seals, along with walruses, manatees, dugongs, otters and polar bears, are all marine mammals, large and small. Whether they're in huge rookeries, small pods, in pairs, or alone. They're all part of the same ecosystem, living in the same ocean, breathing the same air, all part of the animal society.